everyone so today I'm doing my empties or my products I've used that video and I have so many products so I'm gonna try and film this video fastly I'm gonna start with products that are kind of essential for me and that I already purchased so my Bourjois Healthy Mix Concealer squeezed it all out and have a new tube it's my fourth I believe I just really like this concealer it's very seamless on the skin blends nicely and stays stays well throughout the day so I really like it for both under eyes and for my face my Schwarzkopf got to be garden angel heat protectant I've got a new new bottle of it and I just love it the smell of it is very pleasant it smells like the like a grape juice and what I like about it is that it does not make my hair greasy at all. I just spray many spritz all over my hair from the top of my head till the ends before blow drying and if I'm gonna heat style my hair I'll spray some more on the very ends of my hair and yeah it's very lightweight makes my hair smell so good so yeah. Um, the second one is Nivea Pearl Beauty deodorant and I'm a lover of the roller roller one I just use it all the time the only the other one I use and I thought you know what I'll give this one a try and I didn't love it I didn't like it at all these kind of spray the other ones are not my thing really they kind of keep me fresher for longer than the other ones um, okay now what else this one there is just the last drop of drops of it left, but I thought I'll include it in this video anyways. It's Lumen Sensitive Touch um, Eye Makeup, Gentle Eye Makeup Remover. And to me, this is the best, the most gentle eye makeup remover I've come across. It's my second bottle and I just like it so much. I wish they came in bigger bottles so I wouldn't need to, you know, buy it over and over again. And I tried to hug my mom onto it, but she does not love it. She said mm, the texture of it, the formula is really weird because it's like water, but it's not, it has like gel in it. I don't know, the texture is so weird. It's like jelly water, a bit soapy. And this is the reason why it is so mild. You just literally keep the pads soaked with it on your eyes and then swipe it gently and it removes everything. I just like it so much. Now the toner by Lumen Natural Code I've used up. Uh, I really liked it because it smells so lovely. It's very fresh but it's nothing spectacular. I might repurchase it in the future. It's very nice toner. Um, keeps my, you know, sk my skin very fresh. But now I'm just using my bourgeois one which I love like more than this one so yeah that's that. A couple of lip balms. I've used up my rock lip balm which I featured in one of my favorites video and it's just very very hydrating. I really like this lip balm just applying especially before going to sleep a lot of it since it's so rich. I'll wake up with very soft lips. And the other one is Dior uh, Lip Glow, Lip Balm. I had it for ages and this is my favorite lip balm because not only it is a lip balm, it gives a beautiful color. It looks like pale pink and when you apply it, it looks pale pink but then because of uh, your body temperature, it turns into a bright pink color. I'll swatch it, the rest of it, onto my hand so that you could see. Now the color instantly turns into this pink shade and it looks like so pale in the tube, almost clear. And I love that rosy color when I wear very minimal makeup, just like mascara, some concealer and I apply this on my lips. It makes me look so fresh faced and so healthy. It's very expensive, it costs just like regular lipstick but without a doubt I'm going to get another one because I love it so much. Now 
Um, this one is Bourja Mascara. I didn't love it at all. I liked it. I said even in my videos that I really like it. But with use, it just did not work for me. It just, I don't know, it's too clumpy for me. I like the concept that it has this separating, elongating wand and then this thickening wand. But it's just, it makes my lashes so spidery and just not attractive. It's not my thing. And I got it due to Tanya Burr, the Pixie 2 Woo. She loves it so much, but I can't say I love it. So a bit of a disappointment. Now, the other one by Bourjois is 3D Effect Lip Glosses. I love these. These are amazing. This color is... Oh, the name is off. I think it is Rose Lyric. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And it looks like there's a ton of it in the tube, but believe me, there's none. The wand is completely dry. So it's just kind of... The tint still remains. And I used it so much, like, I've, I've had it for a year. Uh, last summer I just wore it every single day. It's beautiful, kind of fuchsia, I want to say, with silver shimmer. Very beautiful lip gloss. Um, the other one is my staple product to Chocla by Yves Saint Laurent. And this is like a must-have for me. I've had uh, several of them. And I'm definitely gonna get it again. I've heard that they changed the formula of it. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna like it. I wanna try um, by Terry under eye concealer. Designed by the lady who designed Touche Cla, The Terry. This is like not much of a concealer. It's more like a highlighting, highlighting pen. Well, it is a radiant touch pen but I like it just under my eyes for brightness like on the bridge of my nose sometimes on my cupid's bow or under my brows it's just very nice Chanel this is uh, Poudre Universelle and I've, I have another one a new one already because it's my like favorite I want to say powder this one is smashed but I'm not gonna use it anymore because it's not possible and I just love this powder because it's so natural. I keep it in my bag for touch-ups and it looks like nothing on the skin. It does not like control the oiliness very very well. I think the uh, L'Oreal True Match powder controls my oiliness better but I still think this powder is a must in my collection. I've used up my Madara Eco Face Deep Moisture Gel for oily to combination skin. It's like an organic face moisturizer. I liked it that it was it's very liquidy and I like the fact that it m sinks into the skin so so quickly. It's like such a watery consistency, it doesn't make my skin look greasy, oily or shiny. Um, it's not mattifying but it's great for oily skins and I don't know, it, it's... I don't... I ha can't say that I loved it. Or will get it again. No, I don't think so, but it's a very good moisturizer. Now, the one that I love and for sure will get in the future is Ember Elise. Uh, French pharmacy, kind of cult famous moisturizer. And <laughs> look at the tube, it's all squeezed out to the last bit. It's for all skin types, just a wonderful moisturizer, very inexpensive and for my oily skin, it's too much, but I love loved it using um, before going to sleep all over my face, especially in winter. This this was my skin saver during winter time. I'll apply it in the nighttime, wake up in the morning with glowy, radiant, and just very very plump skin. It looks like my skin is so you know it soaks all the moisture, so it looks very plump. I don't know if you can imagine that, but <laughs> it definitely plumps your skin. So yeah, really like this one. Highly recommend. The disappointment, I did not like this product at all. It's Lerac um, Dioptikam Anti-Fatigue Eye Cream. And this is a mask and cream for the your under eyes. I've used it up 
all of it. You can leave it for a few minutes, you know, as a mask or just apply it under the eyes like for the night time or the mornings. I, I was using it all the time when I didn't get enough of sleep in the morning, like before exam or something, I would wake up tired. So I would use it under my eyes, but I did not see any difference for on under my eyes at all. This didn't do this did not moisturize my under eyes at all, didn't make it brighter. Anything. I, I'm just very disappointed by this and I bought it because of Ruth from a model recommend She said it's brilliant But I don't know. Maybe it's me. You know, it's a very personal thing for me it did not work at all The last bit is my Garnier roll-on Use it all up. This lasted me for a year. This is amazing. This is caffeine eye roll on. I much more prefer this to this one in the mornings also when I was feeling kind of tired. This is a great wake me up booster. You know, when you, f you can't still wake up ca but can't open your eyes properly, you're so sleepy. And this is very cold rollerball since it's metal. You just roll it under your eyes like that pat it in and it gives that freshness, that cool freshness to your eye. The best thing to do is keep it in in your fridge so it's even more cooler. But I didn't do that but I really love this product. It's so inexpensive drugstore thing but it's so amazing. And the last product is my L'Oreal Renewal Lash Serum. It's a um, serum for your eyelashes. It's not gonna make them grow or anything, it's just for like moisturizing your eyelashes, keeping them in the very healthy condition. So yeah, it's like a conditional gel that I would always apply before going to sleep. Not in the morning because it could make the eyelashes a bit sticky, but for the night time I just really loved it. I would probably get it again, so it's very inexpensive also. Just for eyelash hydration. So these are all of my products. I'm so proud of myself to have used so many things. So I'm not just buying, I'm actually using them all up. Hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.